Hello, this is Constrictor Hiller, not Killer. You're looking at Odin. Odin is a four-year-old royal python. Um, this is Gaelic Mystic. I am the founder of Constrictor Hiller, not Killer dot org. Uh, you can find Constrictor Hiller, not Killer on Facebook. Uh, Snakes Hill Awaken on YouTube and Google Plus and on Twitter, though I don't Twitter that much. Watch him. And a lot of the two children in Canada who lost their life, first of all, they should have never been in an animal farm and then left to sleep where a reptile was, that, especially of that size. Look, animals, and I don't care what breed it is, I don't care what species, animals are just like children. They need excellent supervision. They need constant love and supervision but you also have got to be responsible about the feeding program okay there's children all over this country that are being started at the United States is the richest country in the world yet we have more children suffering and there's no excuse in that we don't talk about that we don't talk about then it's less than one percent of fatalities or injuries from reptiles but they focus on that the media because it's sensationalism and unfortunately in this deranged world we everybody loves sensationalism especially when it's something really tragic which is to me utterly ridiculous I have had snakes since I was two years old I have had three separate cancers a massive stroke that left me in a wheelchair for almost nine years it took me almost three years to through proper speech therapy to learn to talk. I've been to every neurologist, every cardiovascular specialist, pulmonary specialist, physical therapy, occupational therapy, stress therapy, pain management, you name it. And I will tell you this, nothing works as good as a constrictor. I believe that royal pythons and relative boas are the best because of the way they constrict the type of massage therapy you get. He's around this because I keep telling you guys, yeah, I had a stroke and it's, <laughs> see right here? That main artery doesn't just go to your heart. It controls so much on your cranial. That's why you see my red tail boa. She lays there. She's heavier, so she's really good for cranial, uh, optical nerve damage, inflammation of my temporal nerves. Um, oh, there's, I have a bad thing. This is part of a stroke, okay? You just have to excuse me. My hands get tired and I'm doing this with my Android. There you go. See? Watch him. He says, Mom, you're really not feeling good today. It's an interesting, too, because he's my only boy. Now you can really see. See where that's swollen? Snakes work on uh, infrared sensory heat. So when your blood flow isn't right, it gets cooler. And they can tell there's not enough oxygen going through the bloodstream into the heart and into the brain because of this. So he's really focused on this today. I just want to pan out so you can see him say, Hey, i got to take care of my mother. Yeah, you tell him. He loves the camera. Isn't that cool? I love you too, Angel. I love you, baby boy. You mama boy. Yeah, you mama boy. He really knows that's the camera, guys. Isn't that cool? I have to hold him up a little bit. See? Look. They love to be kissed. They're the kissy buggy wuggies. I just giving y'all some close ups of him. <laughs> he's so cute. Now he's on my hand. They go all over you. Um, I'm t I just I went to school for massage therapy. Okay, I got degrees in all kinds of ooga goose stuff. I mean, hydrotherapy, cryotherapy, all the different massages, reflexology. Um. They are excellent at acupressure. They know where your meridian points are. They know when you are misfiring. And if you look at me, look how exhausted I feel. This weather that we're having in Texas with the drought and the high humidity, and it's trying to rain and it's just not enough, I get extremely exhausted. And no matter how tired I am, once they get on me, I'm tired, but I feel better. 
I don't want to take a bunch of narcotics. I was on 29 different medications a day after my stroke. And as soon as I was able to talk to my doctors, you know, and I'm not talking really talking. <laughs> I love you too, mama baby. You do mama boo boo boy. You do mama baby. Yeah. I kiss mama. He's a mama baby boy. Yeah. I don't know if y'all caught that or not, but mm, it's cool. I hope you did. My son's going to be actually doing, uh, setting it up. We're going to be doing a reality show. It's going to be called, um, In the Day of Constrictors, Healer, Not Killer. It's going to be pro, uh, live. And it's going to be uh, $10 a month subscription because we have to cover production cost. And I will be showing people what I do every day with them. I cook with a mommy. I watch TV. I play with my dog. Sometimes I just curl up and I, <laughs> I cry like a baby and say, Oh, I hurt. Mama don't feel good. Mama's sick. And they, they don't just make it better physically, medically. But they comfort you. You know, they listen to you. People don't want to hear how you hurt. People don't want to hear you're uncomfortable. People don't want to hear how sick you are. But animals listen to you constantly, you know. They understand. They're like, okay, mama. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We're kind of, you think we're playing, but I like it because he just, he's working everything. He's, this is the right side over here, see. My right side, let's see, there we go. My right side was extremely damaged with the stroke. <laughs> I was like a frozen piece of meat curled up. Hey, baby, come back into the camera. He's such a camera ham, isn't he? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, I can't live without my snakes. I put a thing on Facebook today thanking my father and my mother. Oh, my brothers and sisters hate me because since I was two years old, I have had all kinds of different snakes. And I've had several snakes at one time, up to 19 at one time. And uh, different spiders and oh, all kinds of frogs. And it's because each one of those animals have helped me. I mean, and when I get bit by a spider, I don't get upset because it's actually very good. For, they're finding that out. I would like you guys to go Google the medical benefits of uh, venom from snakes um, and spider bites. It's really funny because everybody acts like this is new age medicine. The Western Medical Society, Western Medical Association understands people are going back to natural medicine. They're going back to what their grandparents and great grandparents did and their parents did. They're going back to natural homeopathic remedies, mainly because in our economy it's more cost efficient. But once they try it out of financial desperation, they realize how much this works. They're like, wow, this really works. This is like really cool. See, and look how I handle him. You see that? I'm saying, okay, I need you more over here. Now, see, I'll put him here and watch him. Watch him move. Mm. I'm telling you, I would use feather and stone massages when I did my Cherokee massage healing uh, that I learned from my grandpa and my mom. But there's nothing like a constrictor. There's nothing. I'm going to show y'all something now. I'm going to grab him. So it's Omar Bobo. we got to show him how calm you are. He's so cool. The girls are, uh, they're wanting to kind of like, not really cocoon, but like stay, you know, curled up, relax. Well, I guess you could say cocoon. He's more active. But see, watch. See? Watch. Kiss him. Kiss him, mama. Kiss him, mama. He's a kiss, 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 kiss. Does you love your mama? Does you love your mama? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So I gotta kiss my mama. Mm, I gotta kiss mama cause she love me so much. Gotta kiss that mama cause she love me so much. That's what she do. He's the mama boy. He's the mama bubble boy. That's what my Odin is. Yes. He's a mama boy. He's a mama boy. I'm a mama boy. Odin's mama's boy and protector, yeah. See, I gotta take care of my mama. I'm the man of the house. I'm the man of the house. On the truck in this case. Since I'm a nomadic gypsy, I'm at my son's right now, but me and my snakes and my dog, we are living in the truck. 
I don't know, go just wherever I want to go, do what I want to do. I get rid of my apartment. <laughs> I don't have a phone. I use my Android. And then when I come to my son's, I do stuff like this so we can put it on the uh, internet so people can see. Uh -huh. <laughs> he really loves the camera. And um, I like my life. I'm happy. You can live with chronic pain and severe medical conditions. See, watch that. That's so cool. Watch. Oh, God, he spoils me. Does he spoil me or does he spoil me? Seriously? Oh, teach a poor baby. Teach a poor in your mama. You just pulling your mama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just a kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> we love giving each other kisses. Um. Anyways, this is. <laughs> I get carried away. What can I say, man? I can spend. I, 